guys. Did the new TV guide come yet? <laughs> Blanche, you don't understand. In St. Olaf, this is the highest honor there is. Oh, I never dreamed that someone as unqualified as I am would ever be nominated for anything so important. I guess Dan Quayle really opened the floodgates. <laughs> Last year, Gretchen Lilyhammer won for running into the burning library and saving all the books. That is amazing. How'd she do that? Well, she took two books in one hand and one in the other and ran like the Dickens. <laughs> Your library only has three books. What happens when a person's read them all? I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> I'm going to go to my room and write down my achievements. You know, it doesn't matter whether I win. I mean, just being nominated is enough. Mm, that's a good attitude, Rose. It's also a crock of bull. I want that sucker bad. We are the St. Olaf Woman of the Year Blue Ribbon Panel. Does Rose Nyland live here? I'm Rose Nyland. Uh, aren't you fellas a little overdressed? Well, I told you we didn't have to wear a tie. <laughs> Allow us to introduce ourselves. I'm Len, this is Sven, and this is Ben. We are the Topple Copper Triplets. How odd, you don't look anything alike. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, well, back in St. Olaf, nobody could tell us apart. <laughs> you can imagine all the fun we have playing tricks on our teachers in school. <laughs> Which of you brothers has custody of the brain? <laughs> so, what brings you guys to Miami? Wait a minute. I'll bet this has something to do with the St. Olaf Woman of the Year Award. Oh, no wonder she's a finalist. Yeah. Uh, Did I win? Not yet. A lot will depend on verifying the facts in this year's biography. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Let me get us some refreshments before we start. Um. Please make yourself comfortable. Sorry it's so hot. And here we are in the middle of a heat wave with no air conditioning. Not necessarily. If Rose wins the award, you'll be flown all expenses paid to St. Olaf to attend the ceremony. Oh, well, this year I was planning to watch it on TV. <laughs> here we are. I need some nice hot cocoa. <laughs> now, Rose, uh, tell us how you got up the courage to save that eagle. Oh, it was just a bird. Well, what about saving up their school bus, huh? I just gave it directions. Oh, yeah, but there was a bridge washed out on the road ahead. Really? Oh, wait a minute. I can't take credit for those things. Rose, please. Gentlemen, you're embarrassing her. I mean, the woman is a saint, and she's far too modest to, to take credit for any of her good deeds. So what do you say? Do we have a winner here or not? Rose Nyland, you are St. Olaf's Woman of the Year. Oof, I'm getting nervous. Just think, tomorrow I'll stand in front of the entire town and be crowned St. Olaf Woman of the Year. Are you Rose Nyland? Yes. Oh, it's an honor to drive the woman that beat out Emma Immerhofer for St. Olaf Woman of the Year. I beat Emma? Yeah, we thought she'd be a shoe in Running an orphanage, taking in the homeless, running them soup kitchens. Emma did all that. Oh, she's a saint. How did I ever beat her? Uh, Rose, there's something we have to tell you. You see, what um, Blanche and I did was, well... Rose, what Dorothy's trying to say is that we just love you so much, and, and we wanted you to win so bad that we fudged some of the things yeah. on, on your biography. Yeah. Fudged? Fudge makes it sound cute. You lie. We embellished, Rose. Oh, Rose, you do good things. I mean, you are the kindest, most decent human being we know. You deserve to win. But you lied. Oh, I'm not going through with this. I can't go back to my hometown and do something that's against everything I stand for. I'm going to call St. Olaf and tell him we're not coming. A driver, Luke. you stop at the first phone. Isn't it great to be home? Oh, absolutely. You know, I have an irresistible urge to kiss every piece of furniture in the house. <laughs> you wouldn't if you had dates like other people. <laughs> oh, hi, Rose. Oh, Rose, now come on. You're not still mad at us because we changed your woman of the year application. Honey, we're so sorry. I just hate it when you're mad at us and get like this. 
Okay, you're forgiven. Oh, oh well, that, that was, was easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it all over, and you were just trying to help me. And I can't stay mad at my best friends. After all, we've eaten over 500 cheesecakes together. <laughs> Besides, you weren't raised in St. Olaf. It's not your fault you're chronic two-faced liars. <laughs> Girls, look. It's the St. Olaf Woman of the Year trophy. It says here I won Woman of the Year after all because I embody the values of truth and honesty for which the award stands. What happened to Emma Immerhofer? She was disqualified when they found a skeleton in her closet. Huh? What was it? Mr. Immerhofer. Uh -huh. <laughs> this thing isn't solid gold, is it? Oh, no, you just peel off the gold foil and it's pure milk chocolate. <laughs> Oh, that's the loveliest trophy I've ever seen. I'm gonna get a knife. Rose, there is no way that we can tell you how proud of you we are. Oh. Sure there is. Congratulations, Rose Nyland. You are St. Olaf's Woman of the Year. oof -da! Hi, girls. At two, Judas. <laughs> no, it's me, Rose. I'm... <laughs> You two found out about this thing, too, huh? Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, let me give you a little friendly advice. You're wasting your time. Because that $1,000 prize is going to be mine. When I was younger, I was known as the dancing fool. How old were you when they dropped the dancing part? <laughs> yowza, 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 ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the 13th annual Jefferson Hospital Heart Charity Dance Marathon. Yes, sir. One word of caution before we begin. Contrary to what some folks thought last year, uh, this marathon is not part of the cardiac rehabilitation program here at the hospital. <laughs> so if any of you toe tappers have more than 30% blockage, we implore you to leave the dance floor at this time. <laughs> All right now, let's let the dance marathon begin. A one, two, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, our charity dance marathon is now entering its seventh hour. Let's give our contestants a great big hand. Hi, girls. How are you holding up? Oh, fine. Just doing fine. Terrific. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the big dance back in St. Olaf to kick off pretzel week. My Uncle Gunther, after the great beer nut shortage of 20 minutes. Foul, foul, send a judge over here. This woman is trying to put us to sleep. <laughs> just exhausted and you're trying to blame it on me. Exhausted? I'll show you who's exhausted. Maestro, how about something with a little octane? Okay, little lady. All right, boys, take it away. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Go on. No, Gabe, I better do this by myself. You might get hurt. Three, four. It's going to be a long night. 
Rose, honey, congratulations. <laughs> I hear you've been nominated again for the Volunteer of the Year Award. Yup. Seven years I've been nominated for the Volunteer Vanguard Award, and seven years I've had to watch Agnes Bradshaw snatch it away from me. Well, she's not going to do that this year. <laughs> this year I'm finally going to beat her. I'm going to win. Why? Because you worked harder than Agnes? Because she's dead. <laughs> As a doornail. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Coffee? <laughs> Rose, how can you be so cheery? It's a terrible thing. Come on, she was 89 and she died in her sleep. She fell asleep driving the bookmobile. <laughs> it was a tragedy. She was my only real competition. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Muffin? <laughs> Take it, we now get the Disney Channel. Even better, you are looking at the winner of this year's Volunteer Vanguard Award. Oh, Rose, honey, what are you talking about? That award isn't going to be given out until Saturday. I just called to confirm our reservations for the banquet, and they said I don't have to pay for my ticket. The awards committee is paying for me. So? The awards committee wants to make sure that I'll be there to accept the award. It's the only logical explanation I've won. Oh, Rose, honey, I think you're putting the cart before the horse. And that's bad? <laughs> and the winner of tonight's Volunteer Vanguard Award is Rose Nyland. The crowd goes wild. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. What a surprise. I'm absolutely speechless, except for the one I prepared. <laughs> Laughter from the crowd. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank all the little people who have made tonight possible. Thank you, little people. <laughs> Smile for the photographers. Wave to the fans. Rose, they're about to announce the winner. May I have your attention, please? We have now come to the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, God, this is it. Good luck, Break honey. Break a leg. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. The winner of this year's Volunteer Vanguard Award is Rose. Yes! Hand me that glass of water, please. <laughs> Wow, what a surprise, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time in history, we have a posthumous winner, Agnes Bradshaw. It's a fix. She's dead. She doesn't need that on her mantle. She's on her mantle. <laughs> At this time, the awards committee would like to ask Agnes's dear friend and our favorite runner-up, Rose Nyland, to accept the award for her. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> I am absolutely speechless, except for the one that I have prepared. Laughter from the audience. <laughs> what can I say about my good friend Agnes? I'll never forget the last time I spoke to her. She said, Rose, I don't understand you. You work so much harder than the rest of us. <laughs> and I remember I said, well, couldn't this wait just a minute? I'm reading to the blind. <laughs> uh, that's enough, Rose. Oh, but it's so golden. Let it go. Come on, let it go. Let it go, you loser! <laughs> Thank you, Rose Nyland. Let's give her a big hand. Honey, I'm so sorry. Rose, honey, you feeling better? I'm still so ashamed. Oh, Rose, nobody's gonna remember you even making that scene. When we left, everybody was still talking about Dorothy leading that busboy conga line. <laughs> Besides, it's always next year. Well, I've made a decision. 
I'm gonna throw myself into charity. I'm gonna spend all my free time making other people's lives better. I lost sight of the real goal. It isn't about fancy banquets. It isn't about getting your name in the paper. It isn't about winning the award next year. Oh, now, that's the spirit. It's about getting that dead woman's name off of this one. Ah!